As soon as the Japanese saw it, got pissed off, threatened to have the bat. I mean, he was a real prick to me. I ever see that guy, and I'm a fucking giddy dude, bro. I'll do the time. So, he sent me home. I'm like, no, I was so fucking bad. Kept going on. Finally, they caught, they biopsied, which they should have never biopsied the tumors. And they biopsied it. Went in to see the surgeon on the biopsy. I'll never forget it. Oh, it come back negative. That was the biopsy out of the stomach. Then he looks and he says, oh no, oh no, he just flashed it. He says, oh my God, this thing's so lit up. This thing's live, it's live, bad. So, we're going to operate emergency. You know I mean, the only hope, oh, Charlie Lyons is, you're not doing that. My famous, Thomas Lyons, the famous heart surgeon, my family, he always told me, because I had an already bowel, I was born with that. Cut my mouth. With defects. He's like, don't you ever let them open unless you're going to die. I never forgot this. No, 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 no. Vincent got involved. Next day, San Diego nurse. Vincent had Southern in Ogden, Utah. San Diego, bro. Still trying to tell him buy a few. I found a YouTube video. I was in so much pain. This gone up, this whole thing went on for three weeks. I was in so much pain. I went to the Huntsman. Huntsman Cancer, luxury, good to death is still trying to sue me for $1,300 for a phone call consultation. It's fucking dirt bag. So, I'm going to call you in the next two days as soon as that gets back. We'll kind of find out. <laughs> Maybe it takes three days for all that to go through that process. This nurse calls me back the next day. So if you go to the phone mill transplant at LDS tomorrow morning, that day would be 11, 11, 11, not make it up. My two grandsons, 11, born that year, my pair of 11s, I've always had this number 11 at that position. So, it's important I talk about this. I went in. I'll never forget it when I went to see him originally. He'd known me since I was a child. And he says, Kevin. You know, you know, my father and brother both died in Central Utah of thyroid cancer when I was four. And I knew he was a hardcore anti-nuclear. But I didn't know Fimbo Peterson was the top of LDS in state, which is the danger of hardcore anti-nuclear. That's the only reason I got him. And he's like, so now that I know, I didn't know this then. I called him back at Nerf. I, I mean, I said, Bomar, it's leukemia. My father died of that. That's it. I knew. I just broke down. So, I found a YouTube video in the meantime, and I had 14 views. It was a pathologist. I've talked to that pathologist personally who saved my life with that video. For his students, talking about the pathologist getting wrong. He says tumors in the lower right mesentery of men are hard to diagnose. It's incredible. And he says, I believe they get it wrong more than they get it right. That's what my life is because I'm like, this pathologist got it wrong. He's got it wrong. I went to the pathologist. I said, You got it wrong? He said, Ever had more wrong in my life? And I'm telling you, I was in such epic pain. I mean, contractions like you wouldn't believe. And I was in shape like you wouldn't believe. Muscles from head to toe. So, I go in. I call back Vince and he's all choked up. I mean, he's like, Kevin, you have a really nasty, horrible cancer. I believe you. There's a doctor there. I'm not going to LDS. He says it's under construction. It's always been under construction. It's a shithole. Well, let, let me that. go to the other video. This, the doctor name. this has got like tons of videos. This is awesome. This is my new hero. I've known you since you was a kid. Uh -huh. 